What is going on, All Terrain Nation? Today on the show, we're going to take a look at the Jeep with a three and a nine and a two involved in it. And that is right. We're going to look at the Jeep Wrangler 392. And I've done some time with this vehicle and some press trips. I've got to drive this to take it off road. We've had a lot of fun with it. Kelly had one of these things sideways one time coming out of a, a road. Like, we love this vehicle and uh, the Jeep platform with a V8. Who could not love this vehicle? So let's uh, jump into their build and price and let's uh, pull this up right here. As you can see, man, Jeep offers a uh, wide selection. I mean, they have a wide range of vehicles here. And uh, I'll go back up here. We'll start with the Sport, $35,690. That's, uh, that's a lot of money for that. But uh, you're still, you know, getting, not, you know, it's not the most you could spend. Because the most you could spend, we're going to come right down here to 82000 495 and that is the uh the 392 so let's click that click the old build and price there and as you can see you're going to get a lot of colors with this thing a lot of options but there's a lot of uh upcharge to this uh jeep will give you one color if you want the white which a white jeep like that freaking looks great but let's go through the colors real quick let's go look at this uh you got a black there which uh you can see the bronze of the 392 outline looks really nice let's see we got a stingray uh, stingray uh, nice dark gray color there. Next up, you got the silver. Then you've got the hydro blue pearl, which is this is the color I always see on press trips. You always see this this bright blue; it gets a lot of attention. One of my personal favorites is this uh, the firecracker red here. That I love this color, and uh, with a vehicle like this, you're going to want a lot of attention. And speaking of a lot of attention, hydro velocity is going to get you that. Then we've got the classic military Sarge green, which is a good looking color. And then back to our normal white. Now, out of this, there's two colors here that I like. I will say this right now. The uh, the firecracker red, I love this color a lot. When they debuted the, the new uh, jail with this color, I loved it. I thought it was a hot color. And then you've got the um, high velocity clear coat. Now, a vehicle like this, I'm probably going for a lot of attention. And uh, that, I know that sounds crazy, but. You you get a Jeep with a 392, you're going to hit them zoomies. You're going to hit the revs. You're going to let people know every once in a while, hey, I got a fun vehicle here, but I also need a fun color. And that's why I think I would choose this uh, high velocity color right here. I think uh, let's expand this just a little bit. I think this is a uh, it's an exciting color. And it's you know, it's a color that Jeep's not going to do a lot. You know, they'll do it probably one year and be done with it. So, uh, you know, the V8 Jeeps maybe one day might be a little bit of a collector's items. Who knows with us going to electric the way we are. But uh, we'll jump back into this building price. And uh, we've got a few options here, as you can see. They've got a door off mirror kit by Mopar for 200 bucks, basically. No, I'm not going to do that because uh, aftermarket takes care of that so much cheaper. I think you can get some just cheap mirrors on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Uh, now, they're not as big as what they would have there, but who cares? next up we got a satin black grill uh by mopar uh no i i want i want all the colors so i want to get rid of that i want all of the freaking colors there we got an integrated off-road camera right there for 7.95 i will definitely have that because when you're off-roading and this truck will be off-roaded i might not have a spotter with me all the time and i want to see what's out in front of me so their off-road cameras and jeeps i will say jeep does their uh their cameras for the uh the monitors in the truck are like hd man they're like super high super high def i really do like their uh their cameras and uh their monitors in this thing next up we got some uh body graphics which i have zero interest in that so wheels looks like right now we got one wheel that we can uh we can look at it is a 17 by seven and a half beadlock capable wheel that's right it is capable but it is not a beadlock uh you'd have to buy the rings and all that after the fact and beadlock true beadlocks are not supposed to be on the street even though i see them daily the tires we got a 285 70 17 uh we've got the off-road tire that is shown right here then we've got the mud terrain tire right there. And then we've got what they call an off-road tire right here, which is, uh, okay, so it just it looks like a normal BF Goodrich tire. I mean, they're, I believe they're all BF Goodrich on all these. I believe the uh, the off-road tire, I believe this is a KO2 tire, if I remember right. Don't hold me to that, but if I remember right. So uh, I'm going to leave tires alone for right now. They used to offer the recon package, and I don't think it's, I've, I've seen it on the building price for 23 for some strange reason. Check into that. The 33-inch tires, I'm probably going to go right to the tire store and upgrade them anyway. So uh, no need to worry about that. The hinge gate reinforcement by Mopar. Let's go ahead and click that. I want to show you this. Move right there. As you can see right here. So if you plan on adding a heavier duty tire to your uh, Jeep, something past 33, I'd say get a hinge protector like this because it just helps bear the weight of that heavier tire and uh some of the older jk's definitely had some cracking of the uh 
the metal around that stuff where those tires were just a little too heavy for them. So I definitely say uh, go ahead and do that. And it's, you know, 675, you get it from the factory that way. Just go ahead and do it. It's well worth it. Now they have a dual top where you get the soft top and the hard top. Once again, no, not messing with any of that. They've got the, uh, for $2,050, you got the Sky One Touch Power Top, which is a soft top on the top of it that will slide back. And uh, it's not bad, but if I'm taking the tops off, I want the tops off. Now, with the interior colors, you get one option, black. But it's going to have all this cool the uh, bronze stitching everywhere, all the steering wheels and everything. Looks great. Um, you're getting a big radio. The Jeep, if you've been in one Jeep, I hate to say it, you've kind of been in them all. So if you've been in a normal Rubicon, this all looks very familiar to you. And uh, if you've been just basically in a normal Jeep, the steering, everything about them is pretty basic. Basically the same thing. It's the one thing I have on Jeep. I don't feel like they've taken the upper trims and made them unique enough. I don't think stitching. Sure, you get all the features. You're getting the lockers and all that, the, the, the sway bar disconnect. But I just don't feel like it's enough. I mean, this is a beautiful vehicle. Don't get me wrong. But I, I Jeep, for $82,000, I really feel like we should – make the 392 and you know even the higher trims just a little little different but let's see what we got we're going to get the uh uconnect 4 with a 8.4 inch touchscreen display very uconnect is very nice uh i have no complaints about that let's see we got a windshield uh tie down no thank you i'm never tying I mean, i'm never popping that windshield down soft top storage bags it doesn't. I want to pop those off, but no, I'm going to pass on that for right now. The all-weather floor mats. These are like their slush mats. Yes, all day long for $170. I want those. As you can see, they change there. I have those in my current Jeep. They're uh, Jeeps that make some of the best mats. Used to be factory mats were horrible. And now, man, they uh, they are very nice. The hard top headliner by Mopar. Uh, I'm going to pass on that. I will say in my I have this in my current Jeep. Does it help keep it quiet? I couldn't tell you. Um, it, it, it's okay, I guess, but I just, it's, I've never noticed that uh, a big difference in that. So for $525, and I know aftermarket handles that and does it pretty good. So we'll pass on that. Trailer tow package. Yes, I'm going to hit add on that for $350. Is going to get all that, the seven and four pin wiring harness and the class two receiver. Now, remember, this thing is still not a tow monster by any means. So just remember that. So the powertrain of this thing is that 6.4 V8 SRT Hemi. That is right, man. This thing makes a lot of power, and uh, it just sounds good. When you hear this thing start up, it just sounds great, man. And, and you know, Jeep guys should thank Bronco guy because they needed a dose of uh, attention, so they just throw a V8 in it. It's something a lot of Jeep owners were doing anyways in an uh, instant uh, badass vehicle. But the 8-speed automatic transmission in this thing, I've never had any complaints about it. I've, I know people are hit or miss on that, but uh, I like it. I uh, honestly, I kind of like it better than my 10 speed that's in my Bronco. I'm going to get the 3 7 rear gearing in this thing. And that's about all the options that you can add. And as you can see, $88,000 for this thing. And that is nutty. So as you can see, there is our Jeep that we've built. In the comments below, let me know what you think. Is uh, would uh, the 392 work in your driveway? It would work in mine. I just, I don't know about the price of the thing. Uh, even used wise right now, they are risk totally expensive. So uh, there you go. There's the 392. So whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, or this freaking V8, I drive any chance I can get. This has been your all-terrain nation. I'm going to stay void. We're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.